Welcome to this video lecture on the subject transmission lines and antennas. So in this lecture we are going to discuss about binomial array and pattern multiplication. So first we call uh, recall the uniform distribution where the uniform distribution yields the maximum directivity but the disadvantage is the minor lobes are relatively large. So the amplitude of first minor lobe is 24% of the major lobe maximum. So in some applications this minor lobe amplitude may be undesirably large. So the pattern has the off power beam width of 23 degree but side lobes are relatively large. So to uh, overcome this limitation we can use binomial array. So the arrays of non-uniform amplitudes are uh, taken. As per the demand of modern communication where narrow beam uh, is preferred where my no minor lobes are included. So it is the greatest need to design an array of only my main lobes. So the ratio of power density of main lobe to power density of the longest minor lobe is termed as side lobe ratio. So a particular technique used to reduce the side lobe level is called tapering. So the binomial array where current's amplitudes in the sources of linear array is non-uniform. So it is found that minor lobes can be eliminated if the center element radiates more strongly than the other sources. So the, therefore the tapering need to be done from center to end radiators of same specification. So binomial array is a common example of tapering scheme and it is an array of n isotropic sources of non-uniform non-equal amplitudes. So to reduce the side lobe level, John Stone proposed that sources have amplitudes proportional to the coefficients of the binomial series. So the binomial series is taken and uh, for Pascal triangles is used for uh, giving the uh, source amplitude. For an array of total length of n into lambda by 2, the radiative current in the nth element from the one end is given by Pascal's triangle. For example, relative amplitudes of the array of 1 to 10 radiating sources are as follows. The uniform array versus binomial array. The uniform array secondary uh, lobes appear but principal lobe is sharp and narrow. Whereas in stones binomial array, the width of the beam widens but the, without the secondary lobes as shown in this diagram. So disadvantages are that for binomial array, so half power beam width increases and hence the directivity decreases. Uh, so we have seen in the radiation pattern where it consists of an half power bandwidth is larger. So as the length of the array increases, the larger current amplitude ratios are required. So the next we are going to discuss about pattern multiplication. So this method is very useful in the design of arrays because it makes the uh, it makes possible to draw patterns of complicated uh, arrays rapidly almost by inspection. So the total field pattern of array of non-isotropic but similar point sources is the multiplication of the individual source patterns and the pattern of an array of isotropic point sources each located at phase center of the individual source and having the same relative amplitude and phase. So the total phase pattern is the addition of the phase pattern of the individual sources. So this is an example of four isotropic elements linear array the where the elements are equally spaced 1, 2, 3 and 4 are the four isotropic elements. So the radiation pattern is calculated for the linear array. And how the pattern multiplication is applied for this element four isotropic elements. So the radiation pattern of the uh, arrays antenna 1 and 2 treated to be operating as a single. Similarly the radiation pattern of 3 and 4 uh, with equal current in phase treated to be operated as a single unit. So as the point P at which the resultant field to be obtained we can assume the radiation pattern of the antenna in the form of parallel lines. Now the both the elements have a bidirectional pattern. That is the figure 8 pattern spaced distance apart from each other fed with equal currents in phase. Now the resultant radiation pattern of 4 element array can be obtained as the multiplication of pattern. So here uh, individual pattern due to the 2 individual elements is multiplied by the group pattern due to the array of 2 isotropic. So the resultant pattern of 4 isotropic elements is obtained like this. 
and linear array of 8 isotropic elements. So here the 8 elements are taken which are equally spaced uh, lambda by 2 and equivalent 2 unit array spaced 2 lambda. So it is redrawn using, uh, pa using pattern multiplication. So here the unit pattern due to 4 individual elements is multiplied by the group pattern due to 2 isotropic elements. So the resultant pattern of 8 isotropic elements is drawn. So assessment pattern multiplication is the multiplication of single radiation pattern with uh, array factor. The answer is array factor. The exciting, excitation amplitudes of binomial array follow Pascal's triangle. First option. Thank you for listening.